If you're through with the bathroom, I'd like to make myself presentable. My gentleman caller will be here shortly. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. Sure. Listen, Mallory, just so refined. I swear, ever since that Downton Abbey marathon, she and her boyfriend are just so classy. Yeah, I'm just glad they didn't do a Twilight marathon. <laughs> I'll get it. Good evening, my dear madam. I've come to call upon the fair Miss Mallory. I'll get her. Mallory! As always, Natalie, your dulcet tones are like sweet ambrosia to my ears. Madam, I hope you will permit me to say that your beauty never ceases to still both my heart and time itself. Good sir, you flatter me with your flowery words, but it's your stately character and my two passion lies. If we were alone right now, I'd kiss your hand. Oh my, yes. Get it. I'll, I'll get it. Babe! Oh, James, how good of you to come! Yeah, babe, didn't you hear me honking? The car is still running. James, must you be so crass in mixed companies? Yeah, sure, whatever, babe. It's Mr. Perry, isn't it? Bro! I don't believe I've had the pleasure of your acquaintance. That in the future, when in the presence of a lady, you would do well to treat your intended with the respect she inherently deserves. Ouch, bruh. James, you can make it up to me at Butch's Beef World. Huh, yeah, can I get the steak and fried butter? Yeah. Oh, and the, uh, escargots. Such a handsome couple. Indeed. So, where'd you get your dress? The 1800s, of course. Of course. Jason. Hey. I thought perhaps tonight we might conduct ourselves in a more civilized manner. What are you talking about? Just for tonight, do you think we could be more like them? Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Yes, please. Fine. <clears throat> May I present Mr. Gray of the... Gray household. Uh, Mr. Gray, would it be too intimate a query to question your intentions regarding Miss Cole? She is very dear to me after all. Ten, I find that a very forward inquiry indeed. Mr. Gray and I have not yet reached the subject of domestic felicity as of yet. Well, why ever not? It would. Twould. Be an air of judgment in my mind to consider a proposal of that nature in this tender stage of our courtship. Must a man endure continual pressure from his peers as well as his kin regarding this most sensitive issue? I assure you, we mean no ill will. We merely raise the subject out of concern for Miss Call. Are you implying that she has need for concern? I'm implying nothing. Though perhaps I may have inadvertently struck a tender chord. Apologies. You may take your apologies and place them in your... Jackson! That is it, sir. I demand satisfaction. And you shall have it. If you will, Mallory, oblige us. Yes, oblige us, Mallory. Wait, are these real guns? Go get them, babe. Babe? Will you turn your back on me, you coward? They were real. Yes, I think so. Okay. 